Hey everyone, how is it going? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a subject that sometimes gets a little bit confusing. And the topic is about frame rates and whether you should use 24 or 60 frames per second. This is pretty much the same for all cameras, but I'm going to focus a bit more on the DJI Pocket 2. When you select video mode on the next page, you can select the resolution and the frames per second that you want to use. Now, before I keep going, I want to be clear that there is no perfect frame rate and they are going to have different results depending on which one you use. Just to have a general idea, 24 frames per second has become kind of like the standard for most of the movies that we watch. There have been a few movies like The Hobbit that were shot at 48 frames per second and even though the movement seemed to be more realistic, more fluid and smooth, some people don't like it because I think our brains are trying to see 24 frames per second as normal. When it comes to video games, having more frames per second is going to be more appealing, but we're not talking about video games today. 60 frames per second or higher frame rates are going to be useful to get that dreamy slow motion that I think most of us like. If you shoot at 60 frames per second and you watch that video clip on your computer, it will play at regular speed instead of a slow motion. So you need a program to edit videos where you can convert those 60 frames per second video clips to 24 frames per second and that's the way to slow down those videos. So when do you want to use 24 frames per second? Well, whenever you want to show a speed with natural motion blur. Anything that has audio, like interviews, vlogging, or any kind of video where someone is talking, singing, or playing music. And 24 frames per second is also believed to be the lowest frame rate required to make motion appear natural to the human eye. So you want to use 60 frames per second if you know that you want to slow down that video clip and get that dreamy or cinematic scene. You have to keep in mind that too much slow motion makes the whole video looks kind of slow. And having too much slow motion is not going to be very appealing. If you're using your Pocket 2 on low light situations, I highly recommend using 24 frames per second to keep the shutter speed lower. If you use 60 frames per second on low light situations, the shutter speed is going to be higher. And the higher the shutter speed, the less light will go into the camera sensor. This will make the video look darker or if you bump the ISO, it will have more noise. If you are a casual user who is not going to edit videos anytime soon, but you still want to have slow motion videos, you can use the slow motion mode on the Pocket 2. It's only 1080p, so you're missing on the 4K, but for the most part, I think it's going to look good. Hopefully, this video gave you a better idea about the difference between 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second. I hope to see you next week. I have a new product that I want to show you. Until then, please take care, have an amazing day, and take it easy. Bye.